Hello folks, so the question for today is uh, 2019, October, November, paper 42 and the question number 8. The question is concerned with the chapter magnetic field and it's about Hall effect as you can see from the diagram. It says electrons enter a rectangular slice, uh, this thing, so a long name here, of a semiconductor material at right angles to the face, uh, PQFE, so PQF, uh, PQF is this. Uh, so electrons are entering like this, cross section here. A uniform magnetic field of density, flux density P is directed into the slice at right angles to face uh, PQRS. So if this is uh, horizontal, it is vertical. So PQRS here, perpendicular here. The electrons each have charge minus Q and the drift velocity V in the slice. In the slice, so the average velocity here. State the magnitude and the direction of the force due to the magnetic field on each electron. As it turns the slice so, so first the value of the force is so f is equal to b uh, q v sine of theta so since uh, the direction is here and uh, the next direction is here magnetic field the angle is 90 so it should be equal to b q v and i didn't use the sign here because i have to state the direction separately so 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 that's why i uh, thought uh, it would be dealt with, dealt, dealt with uh, writing this question so didn't use that so uh, the direction on the electrons will be somewhat like this so now let's uh, go for the uh, um, let's go for the left hand rule of uh, Fleming of Fleming so for positive charged particle the force will be somewhat like this so magnetic field is coming like this coming like this so let me arrange my fingers like this so this is the magnetic field here magnetic field coming like this uh, current uh, has it been the positive charge but it's not the current is going like this so let me erase myself like this so lots of physical adjustments going on here so many field here many field here the positive charge would be going like this so let me go for the camera here so positive charge going like this like this many field down there down there so force would have been like this so many field down here down here down here like this charge bodies are going like this like this force would have been like this but what happens here is the particles going here is the negative one so the force should be reverse reverse so force should be this side so that's why the force here should be to this side to this side means uh so for the electrons going on here the force will be to this side this side this face this face this face like this so it should be towards the face so come in a combined form the force should be towards towards the face uh f g r q so electrons will be uh, though they are going in this direction they start to start to uh, cling to this wall as it move forward now number b the force on the electrons causes a voltage vs to be established across the semiconductor slice given by the expression like this so this is the uh, universal expression of the uh, hull voltage where i is the current in the slice state the two phases between which the voltage vs is established so we have to find the two phases between which the vs is established so as we have said the electrons move to this phase so the the negative charge will be negative charge will be accumulated here so it should be negative and this thing will be comparatively positive compared to this so the voltage should be between the phases so e h s p and the next phase is this phase f g r q now use letters from figure 8.1 8.1 means uh, means here here to identify the distance t so t here so one thing that we have to remember in this whole voltage is that half, uh, the t is the distance through which the magnetic field crosses t is the uh, thickness of that uh, distance cleared by the magnetic field so the magnetic field clears this distance. This is so it should be either FQ, or GR, SH, or EP. So it should be. If I use one, it is EP. So if I use uh, more, it will be FQ. It will be uh, GR. It will be HS. So these are the distances that might rep that will represent this T. Now, next question. Uh, now, now comes some numerical half part. Till now, we had only uh, theoretical things. 
So it says that uh, aluminium uh, 27 Al13 has a density uh, 2.7 gram per cm cube. Assume that there is one free electron available to carry charge per atom of aluminium. So with this data we have to find the number of charge carriers per unit volume of aluminium. It's given here so we have to prove that. So first that we have to think is from here what we have is uh, <coughs> so this is density is uh, 2.7 gram means 1 cm cube so that's equal to 10 to the power minus 6 cm cube so now the molar mass of uh, aluminum is uh, 27 so what uh, we have is what you have is uh, this uh, <coughs> uh, 27 gram of aluminum means uh, 1 mole 1 mole and that means 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms atoms so in reverse i have what i have is uh what i have is um yeah so so so, so uh 27 gram means so 2.7 gram means this much a cm cube so 27 gram means that i have got it is a 10 into 10 to the power minus 6 cm cube uh, so this meter cube sorry now this is meter cube this is meter cube meter cube tends to 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms so this is so one meter cube means that i have got 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 divided it is uh, 10 this is 10 to the power minus 5 that becomes 6.02 into 10 to the power 28 28 atoms 28 atoms so the required quantity number of charge carriers per unit volume is equal to uh, 6.02 into 10 to the power 28 per meter cube so this answer is similar to this so nearby 6.0 into 10 to the power 28 so this is the answer for this question now now the uh, the next question is a sample of aluminum foil has a thickness of this much the current in the foil is uh, this much so now uh, if you go through this a uniform magnetic field of flux density uh, 0.15 tesla acts at the foil use the values in this thing to calculate the voltage vh so let's do it so vh equal to equal to b i by n t q that's equal to b is this much 0.15 into I is the current it is a 4.6 now the denominator seems to be long so this n is equal to this much which is 6.02 into 10 to power 28 into t is this much thickness so it is 0 0.090 into 10 to power minus 3 into q is the charge of the electron which is 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 so let me do the calculations so uh, in the limit is 0 0.15 into 4.6 uh, divided bracket 6.02 exponent 28 into 0 0.090 exponent minus 3 into 1.6 exponent minus 19 bracket close equal to so it's a long term here so it will i'll have uh, 7.986 into 10 to the power 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 yes 7 minus 7 volt so if i write into sf it will becomes 8.0 into 10 to the power minus 7 volts so it is 8.0 into 10 to the power minus 7 volts so that's the complete workout for this question